AE39 source is Zach here with the 1999 Black 528i and this is my summer update so we got some new things on the outside we got new emblems on all of the wheels we did get a new side new clear side markers along with new tail lights and yes I, there is a piece of reflective tape along the bottom here because these are not uh, Hellas they are spider auto I think and they didn't come with the reflectors, they came with those little like square ones you stick on your bumper which I thought was hideous so I took a piece of some red reflective tape and I just put that along the edge here. It's kind of janky I know but I didn't have money to get new tail lights and the, um, the bulb plate that you put all of them on in my car because the seal had worn away uh, was all corroded and none of the lights worked so we, my dad and I decided to get these cheaper ones and then just do this. Uh, you may have noticed also the trunk lip spoiler here that we got uh, I know it's not an M5 I'm not trying to make it look like an M5 I just wanted a slightly sportier look and I think this is subtle enough that it doesn't like stick out very much it's not too noticeable I like it um, things that we're, we've done mechanically to the car uh, not much yet but we did put in a, a new air filter a Piper Cross or Piper Cross not entirely sure in the pronunciation and we did an oil change recently. Uh, we also put on new front and rear badges, if I haven't mentioned that already. Um, and then inside, we haven't done anything yet, but there are some basic trim panels that need to be replaced, such as this this piece right here, which Ryan is always saying every E39 needs. Absolutely true. Uh, there's a slight crack. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Uh, this is obviously cracked, so I'm going to take this, get all these pieces and reorder them. Um, this up here is still cracked and broken. I don't know if I want to go through the trouble of taking out my dash in order to replace this. Or not taking out the dash, but taking out this whole thing and undoing all the glove box stuff over there. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's everything for the inside. Oh, on the outside, I do apologize for the, um, lackluster wash job. Yes, there's lots and lots of water spots there and up on the roof and everywhere uh, that's just because I'm in California uh, I had to wash my car because it rained and it left water spots everywhere but we don't have very much water so I try to do the car wash as quickly as possible but it's like 90, 90 degrees out here every day and my car is black so as soon as you put water on it poof it evaporates so I do apologize for all those water spots I gotta take care of that um but yeah I think that's that's it for my car, but I did have a question for all of you out there. My mom has an E39 uh, 2001 528i wagon, station wagon. Um, her engine lately has been making a, a rather weird noise. Uh, when it's in park, reverse, drive, all of them, just, it goes kind of like... Nya, nya, nya. So we're not sure what it is, but um, I'll definitely include a sound clip so you guys can try to help us out there. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, that's it for the summer update video.